Well, a new study suggests armadillos might be on their way to becoming a lot more common in Michigan. Third Tenure Sides' Lance Wilhelm spoke to the study's author about what exactly this means. He joins us now from the newsroom. Hey there, Lance. Yeah, that's right, Elena. Dr. Brett DiGregorio, who's somewhat of an armadillo expert, says he's not sure exactly when these fun creatures will start to populate in Michigan, but he is pretty sure it'll be within the span of his career. Armadillos like this little guy at the John Ball Zoo are fan favorites, but sometime in the not too distant future, you might not have to go to the zoo to see them. They're harmless, they're eating bugs, they're minding their own business. Um, I think enjoy these charismatic, cool, alien looking things. Dr. Brett DiGregorio out of Michigan State University has a new study saying that armadillos could soon become more commonplace in Michigan. They've been expanding naturally on their own for over 150 years. For centuries now, they've been slowly coming up north, making their way from all the way down in Texas, coming through Indiana, and now with a next stop right here. Climate change probably helps, but it's not the reason that this is happening. You know, this really is a species that's just moving on its own. The nine-banded armadillo is the specific species that might be popping up in a backyard near you, different from the slightly smaller six-banded ones at the zoo, but they have some similarities. They're about house cat sized. Um, they're covered in, you know, these kind of gray scales. Um, they've got a long pointy nose. One of their biggest quirks, digging holes and lots of them. They do dig these big burrows, you know, they're about as round about a you know big round burrows the entrance is about the size of say a volleyball and they can go down about six feet each armadillo can dig about 10 burrows in their home area and bad news for gardeners they might also be digging them in your home's area they can cause some conflict with people um, because they they root around dig up the soil looking for grubs um, there's no doubt that they cause damage to people's gardens. And before you get too excited, though they're charismatic, cute creatures, don't think about adopting one anytime soon. You know, if they're nocturnal, so they're going to be active at night. Um, they're kind of a solitary animal, so I don't think they're going to be particularly affectionate or cuddly. And more importantly, Dr. DiGregorio also says it might not be legal to have them as pets, so you might want to check on that. And he also says that he doesn't consider them an invasive species since they made their way here on their own. He says overall there's really nothing to worry about. From the newsroom, Lance Wilhelm, 13 on your side.